Is it possible to adjust the pivot tension and the blade centering on a buck 110 or a buck 112? I don't know, let's find out in this video. The following video is for your entertainment. Okay, so one of the things I've always wanted to do is adjust the centering and the tension of a buck 112 or a buck 110. In this particular case, I've got the centering a little bit over to the left. And that seems to be where it wants to stay. There's a little bit of movement, not very much, but the natural position. And I can tell it's a little bit loose because it does that, which I don't mind doing. Most people would go, nothing wrong with one hand opening and one hand closing. But the problem here is that when I push the lock in and give it a little bit of a side to side, you hear that? There's a little bit of side to side. Probably doesn't bother a lot of people, but for the interest of video 374 of this channel, let's see if we can do that. Uh, this buck here is already pretty good. Slight movement there. But let's put the buck 110 aside. Let's do this with the buck 112. Here's a couple of things I'm going to use. Piece of denim. A little hammer of some type. In my case, I don't have a uh, anvil, so I just got a solid piece of metal and some cardboard. And we'll use scissors for this video. So all I'm going to do is just cut some strips. I've never done this before. I'm just doing this off of the cuff. If it's a fail, I'll probably won't even release this video. But if it's a win, who knows, we'll try it. So I'll just cut a bunch of these little cubes, gather them up. This is how I kind of envision doing this. All right, so the blade is kicked over that way, even though it doesn't look like it in the video because of the shadow, but I think you can see it there. So what I want to do is push the blade over the opposite direction. Let's see if I can't demonstrate that. Yeah. Okay, so I've got cardboard jammed in this side, pushing the blade in the direction that I want it to go. Let's see if this works. I kind of thought if I wrapped this just so I don't scratch it. Lay that down there. Now by tapping it, I should be tightening it. And yeah, so far so good. Haven't scratched anything. Let's go back. Well, check that out. It is dead nut center right now. There's no movement. That side to side, it's gone. It's gone. And let's see where it lands naturally. Check it out. We actually moved it. Well, that's something new. Okay, so we still got the, kind of have the one-handed operation, but it's tightened up just a little bit, which is good. This is what I was looking for. Let me just open it like normal. I don't like letting it slam shut like that, but I'm going on this, this case. I've already adjusted for blade slam anyway. Where does it end up? Check it out. I actually centered it. Now, did we get any blade slam, I wonder? Hope not. One way to check is just to run the fingernail. And no, we have no blade slam at all. And we just centered a buck 112. Check it out. And there is no movement anymore. 
See that? Well, that was, <laughs> that was easier than I thought it would be. So anyway, if you're wondering, can you center and adjust the pivot on a buck 110 or a buck 112? And the answer is yes. 374 videos. What will 375 bring? Bye for now.